Hello guys, Sanjay here and welcome back to a new video in which we are going to talk about the brand new Surface Pro 8 which was recently launched in India by Microsoft. So this is a tablet right now and this is a full-fledged Windows 11 tablet. I can touch it. I can use all the functions that you use on a Windows 11 laptop basically. But is this just a tablet? Not really. I'll just attach this keyboard accessory and now it's a full-fledged laptop. You can use the keyboard, the trackpad and it will basically work as a laptop. Now, what are the specifications? You must be wondering that. So this one comes with 11 generation Intel Core Core processors, i5, i7 options are present, 8 GB, 16 GB RAM options are also available with 256 GB of SSD storage. Now, if you're wondering what are the box contents, then you get the Surface Pro 8, a 65 watt fast charger inside the box and some documentation, warranty information and quick start guide. I feel design is the most important factor when it comes to this tablet, laptop or in one device basically i'll just detach this and this is a full-fledged touchscreen windows 11 laptop uh, tablet not laptop now it's i'll attach this and now it's a laptop now this is targeted towards working professionals so having lightweight is very important in my opinion now as this is a tablet plus laptop and as i said it comes with i5 i7 processor so meaning the performance is going to be mind-boggling which it is on this particular device Weight is just 889 grams. I was actually surprised it is less than one kg and uh, when you want to carry this particular thing with you to the office or when you're going to somewhere else or if you want to just hold it and use the tablet, it does not feel heavy and that's a plus point of this particular Surface Pro 8 device in my opinion. It is thin, it is lightweight, which is very important. Now the device feels very premium when you hold it in your hand. It also comes with a kickstand at the backside. Now this is at this particular degree. I can You can go up to 165 degrees with this particular tablet. Anodized aluminum all around gives it a premium look. Overall, in hand feel and overall build quality on this particular two-in-one device is really good. I was very happy with it. Now the Surface Pro 8 does not have any type of fan inside it. Uh, then how does it cool itself? Because i5, i7 processors perform really good. Then there are vents all around the tablet as you can see over here right now, which help it remain cool when you use it for extended periods of usage. Now I used it for an hour at a stretch and it did not overheat, which was definitely a plus point in my opinion. Now let's talk about display because when you use a tablet or when you use and laptop also basically you are going to watch movies or you're going to watch a lot of videos and in that case you need a very good display now the surface pro 8 i'm very happy to report the display is amazing it comes with 13 inch pixel sense flow touch display it also has a resolution at 2880 by 1920 and it has an aspect ratio of 3 by 2 120 hertz refresh rate is also present now smartphones are moving to high refresh rate already even budget smartphones come with 90 hertz or 120 hertz refresh rate displays now this tablet also has it so if when you move from your phone to this tablet or laptop you will not feel the sluggishness or slowness because of the high refresh rate display present on this device two watt speaker is present here now after hearing the two watt speaker thing you may be like are yaar, two watt speaker itna so chota obviously it is not the loudest that i've heard when it comes to speakers on a laptop but when it comes to quality of sound it is on point perfect quality of sound so if you are planning to watch movies at your home with this particular tablet or laptop basically two-in-one device so i have to keep mentioning this laptop or tablet then you can watch movies with great display and amazing sound quality on this particular device last year microsoft announced windows 11 and it is present on this two-in-one surface pro 8 basically and it works really fine as i said tablet mode may windows 11 ke sare features aapko milenge and literally everything works on tablet mode as well as laptop mode and that's possible with uh, optimized windows 11 for touch as well as when you use it day-to-day -day life when you use features like snap assist which i feel are really important having multiple windows open at the same time having three windows four windows you can select this from here and you can use it simply like very easily ease of use is something which is very important to me when it comes to a tablet and that is possible with the windows 11 present on this particular laptop you also get windows halo support with the laptop meaning you can unlock the laptop just with your face and uh, using the camera of the laptop now let me talk about the camera which i feel is a highlight in this day and age because in the day and age of work from home, camera have become so important in so many sessions. If you are having team session and if you have bad camera or bad microphone, it does not look really good. Now you can look at the video quality, which is being recorded on the Surface Pro 8 right now. It is so good. Literally, I have used laptops with 2 lakhs, 3 lakhs, 4 lakh rupees. None of them are even anywhere close to this. This is a 5 megapixel camera, which can shoot 1080p videos 
not just camera, even the sound quality that you can hear, the microphones basically, the far field microphone setup that is present on the Surface Pro 8. So if you're planning to use this for your team session, then simply use the camera of this and also you can use the microphone of the tablet itself because it is that good. You also get a 10 megapixel rear facing camera which can shoot 1080p videos and it can also shoot 4K videos. So yeah, that's that. Performance is very important on any device. Now the Surface Pro 8 comes with Intel Core i5 and i7 processor. Obviously, they perform really good. These machines are also Intel Evo certified, meaning all the good stuff that you get with Intel Evo platform are present on this particular laptop as well. Now, when it comes to day-to-day -day life usage, I literally had no issues writing Word documents, using Excel, browser, and multitasking between all these things. At the same time, I had no issues when it comes to performance. Now, when it comes to the tablet mode of Surface Pro 8, as this is a two-in-one mode, you need to have some extra sensors such as gyroscope, accelerometer, or even the light sensor and all these sensors are present here. This Surface Pro 8 comes with 51.5 watt hour battery so getting through one single day should not be an issue for a regular user and as this is Intel Evo certified as I mentioned earlier the battery life on this device is very well optimized as well. Microsoft claims up to 16 hours of battery life with the Surface Pro 8 and it also supports fast charging so that you can go from 0% to 100% very quickly. Oh wait we did not talk about ports. Let's talk about ports. Two USB-C ports with USB 4.0 support they also support thunderbolt 4.0 out of the box meaning if you want to attach extra monitor or extra display then you can use the usb type c port because they also support thunderbolt 4.0 you also get crazy fast transfer speed if you use an accessory which supports crazy high speed like 1 gbps or something like that which is possible on the surface pro it because it comes with ssd as i mentioned earlier now you also get one 3.5 mm headphone jack one surface connect port and a surface keyboard port as well now the accessories that I've mentioned in the video till now is this keyboard. Now obviously you will have to buy the keyboard separately. It is It does not come with the tablet and you can also buy the pen separately. Now this pen, this is the Surface Slim Pen 2 which is amazing. I'll just press over here and it will open up whiteboard. I can, okay, uh, ignore my drawings, don't look at, don't judge me. I'll just start a new whiteboard and I can start writing. I can select any other pen if I want and uh, it will start, I can immediately start drawing. I can have a ruler basically and uh, whiteboard functionality on this I'll, I'll just I can spend an hour once I got this laptop I spent literally half an hour just drawing stuff because uh, because why not the surface slim pen 2 works really fine and if you're wondering is it just for this what if I use Adobe application to draw stuff then yes the pen will support these Adobe applications and it will work amazingly good now one feature that I enjoy with the surface slim pen 2 is that when you draw something on the whiteboard or anywhere if you want to rub it simply flip it around just as school pencil ke saath piche rubber hota tha, sa, sa, se likhte te. same thing you have to do with surface slim pen 2 and it will start erasing which is amazing makes the flow of drawing or writing very easy and uh, it feels very natural to write with the pen itself now where will you keep the pen how will you charge the pen that's simple just keep it in the keyboard and it will charge the pen as well as that's the storage if you want to hide the pen simply do this and it's hidden. Now the keyboard will also lift up a little bit making your typing experience easier. That's how I prefer typing. If you prefer it flat, then just remove it and you can type on a flat surface. You can also write in the word document and it will be converted into text immediately. So what's the conclusion? How was my experience with this particular tablet? First of all, it is extremely lightweight. Carrying it is going to be so much easier. I want to use it as a tablet. I'll just remove the keyboard accessory and that's it. It is a tablet now. So if you're looking for a two-in-one tablet plus a laptop device, then this is a fantastic choice. This one comes from Microsoft. The camera setup, as, as you saw, is amazing. In the day and age of work from home, it is going to be a lifesaver for you. And with the addition of keyboard and the pen, the ecosystem becomes complete in my opinion. And I guess that's pretty much it for this particular video. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you still have any more doubts, additional queries regarding this, in one device let me know about that in the comment section box below so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching